JP Morgan has come up with a methodology that they use to to try to figure out a fair price for Bitcoin. Can you tell me about that methodology and what you thought the of it? The amount of gold being held privately for investment purposes is 47,000 uh, and 400 tons, something like that. And at today's gold price, that is worth about $3.3 trillion. Let's divide that by the number of Bitcoins in circulation today, which is something like 19.6 million coins. And we get a theoretical price target of $166,000 per Bitcoin. $166,000. So it, going off just that number, if you don't take it any further, these new highs that Bitcoin is hitting, that's only the start. It has much higher to climb from here. An asset where it just kind of defies efforts usually to do any kind of math on the on the valuation, it's a start. I have some concerns, starting with the assumption that Bitcoin should be worth what gold is worth because because they're rough, you know, because they're roughly similar things. If that if roughly if, similar things and you just add Bitcoin to gold, it, you'd be like kind of doubling the supply. There'd be a lot more of this thing you were after Bitcoin slash gold. So w wouldn't it be worth less? That's that's strange to me. Exactly. What you are seeing is a substitution. What I mean by that is you've actually seen ETF outflows into gold ETFs. And we all know about the strong, massive inflows going into the newly introduced Bitcoin ETFs. So you actually are getting investors pulling you know, money out of gold ETFs and putting it into Bitcoin ETFs. Now, Jack, you're going to ask me, if that's happening, how did gold just hit a new record? Coincidentally, gold and Bitcoin hit a new record. If actually, look, about if you look over the past year, over the past two years, Gold demand has largely been driven by central bank buying. Countries all over the world trying to reduce their reliance on the dollar. Russia, China, etc. They want to try to reduce their reliance on the dollar. They want to diversify their reserves and they've been stopping up. So if central bank demand cools off at some point in the future and this trend with investor flows continues, we might ultimately see that substitution effect in the price. Like we might ultimately see Bitcoin keeps climbing and gold starts falling. Potentially. Absolutely.